ओके तो गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे इट्स अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्लास द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज फोर्स ऑफ इंटरेस्ट तो यू ऑल हैव सीन द वीडियो ऑफ टाइम वैल्यू ऑफ मनी एंड इंटरेस्ट रेट्स द बेसिक कन्वर्जन ओके सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द क्लास आई वॉन्ट टू नो सम इनपुट्स फ्रॉम योर एंड ओके सो कोमल जैन प्लीज स्विच ऑन योर माइक कोमल जैन कम इन कोमल जैन यस कोमल जैन वॉट इज आई टू आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू नो वॉट इज आई टू वॉट इज आई टू कोमल जैन कैन यू प्लीज हेल्प मी आउट आई टू या आई टू इज इंटरेस्ट हाफ इंटरेस्ट इंटरेस्ट नो प्लीज कैन यू प्लीज इलेबरेट इज आई टू sorry it's it's one year uh, interest rate i2 is what nominal rate of interest convertible half yearly if we divide this by 2 then we get half yearly effective rate of interest okay now now let's say suppose we have learned about i i2 i4 i12 okay but now if we break down a year into very small parts okay such that the compounding is being done uh, every second or every uh, nanosecond or every hour then it really becomes difficult to plot it on a timeline okay so if this is a timeline and this is one year then how will you plot every second compounding if you see the share market returns the returns are very spontaneous now the share price is 90 it goes up to 91 it goes down to 90.2 again 90.8 it is like this so some are positive returns some are negative returns right but the change takes place every second just think about your bank account or the money in your ppf account what happens in your ppf account you get interest at the rate of 7.1% you ask your dad about you ask your working parents about ppf what is ppf they are going to tell you public provident fund now what is that every year you can deposit 1.5 lakhs and there is no tax on that amount okay whenever we earn any income we pay tax to the government okay but if you deposit that earned money to ppf now there is a cap of 1.5 lakhs so up to 1.5 lakhs the tax is exempt and you get interest at 7.1% there the compounding is done once in a year so let's say suppose if i have deposited here 1.5 lakhs okay you will get interest 7.1% and at the end of year the balance will reflect 1.5 lakhs into 1.071 all of you have understood this thing okay is it clear but now today we are going to talk about continuous compounding and that is the force of interest there is some force which causes our fund to grow and that force is the force of interest okay which force causes our fund to grow that force is the force of interest now let's say suppose i am thirsty i am thirsty there is one force which is causing my hand that yes i should drink water so this is the force of thirstiness i am alive i am healthy i am happy koi aake meko chata mar diya someone slaps me okay there is a force of slap that causes me to cry or feel bad so everything that we do has some sort of force right so that is the force of interest so whenever there is continuous compounding or let's say suppose you are working uh, let's say suppose uh, you have a fund where you get interest weekly okay in a year there is 52.18 weeks exact taking the 0.25 days okay so 52.18 weeks are there so if you see 52.18 weeks so every week if you are getting the interest it is as good as what it is as good as what continuous compounding na because it will be very difficult to plot it on the timeline and the calculations will get cumbersome okay calculations will get cumbersome so this is one of the biggest reasons why we use the concept of force of interest now the simplified formula is now the notation first of all the notation the notation is delta 
Now there is a formula which we all don't want to know. Okay, I'll not teach you the formula from where the uh, derivation has uh, come. Okay, the formula is not needed. We'll just focus on the results because we, as actuarial science aspirants, we just need to focus on the results. How to apply this delta in real life? Okay, so as you know, accumulation factor for one year is one plus i. 1 plus i is the accumulation factor for 1 year. And if we talk about force of interest, then the accumulation factor is e raised to the power delta. Okay, so e raised to the power delta is the accumulation factor for 1 year. So both these things are equal. So now whenever we get the term of force of interest, okay, we are going to use e raised to the power delta. Now for 2 years, it will be e raised to the power 2 delta. If we need to have the discount factor of one year, it will be e raised to the power minus delta. Because why? The discount factor for one year is what? 1 plus i to the power minus 1. Which is what? V. V is the discount factor for one year. Pulling the money back to the present. Okay. So put the heading force of interest. Write down. Whenever, whenever the compounding frequency whenever the compounding frequency is high that is whenever the compounding frequency is high that is the number of times that is the number of times compounding is being done in a year compounding is being done in a year is very frequent is very frequent for example for example daily hourly every second etc daily hourly every second weekly etc please repeat the sentence whatever i have written We use the concept of force of interest. We use the concept of force of interest. We use the concept of force of interest. Real life example is share market. Real life example is share market. Real life example is share market. Full stop. A force causes our fund to grow. A force causes our fund to grow. This is the force of interest. This is the force of interest. This is the force of interest. A force causes our fund to grow. This is the force of interest. Okay. A force causes our fund to grow. This is the force of interest. Okay. Now, Formula is, formula for accumulation factor is 1, formula for accumulation factor is 1 plus i to the power n is e to the power delta n. Then put an arrow and write AF for, AF for n years, AF for n years, okay? Then, V to the power N is equal to E to the power minus delta N, DF for N years, discount factor for N years, okay? One more thing that we need to write is, note. Note. Write down in discrete, in discrete, we use summation. In continuous, 
वी यूज इंटीग्रेशन नाउ व्हाट डज दिस मीन दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन लिसन वेन नाउ फोर्स ऑफ इंटरेस्ट हैज टू एस्पेक्ट्स ओके नाउ आई एम गिविंग यू सम प्रैक्टिस सम्स जस्ट गिव मी अ मोमेंट Yes, yes, Dev. Discount factor is one by accumulation factor, right? Discount factor is one by accumulation factor, so that is why we are using e to the power minus delta n. Okay. So now, example one. Example one. Okay. Now, this is the timeline. At time zero, we have invested five hundred. Force of interest is eight percent. Okay. Force of interest is eight percent. We need to calculate accumulated value. after 3 years how can we do that we need to calculate accumulated value after 3 years so we need to calculate the accumulation factor for 3 years so this will be e to the power 0.08 into 3 okay please calculate e to the power 0.08 into 3 please switch on your cameras aastha asopa i'll not tell again yati kabra and now we will calculate accumulated value at time 3 so it is 500 into a 023 please calculate the accumulated value and tell me the answer please calculate the accumulated value and tell me the answer what is the final answer 635 is the correct answer 635.62 okay now next example 2 example 2 example 2 now this is the timeline at time 5 800 is due okay now this see your life is this timeline now for the next 100 classes you will be just taught this timeline in cm1 the student who has captured this timeline has captured the course okay now one thought that is coming to my mind i'm sharing with you all now i guess all of you have cm1 as your first exam okay now in the course of actuaries what you will see is uh now we are starting with the syllabus we are in the starting portions so now it is like a game of ludo okay so cm1 is like a game of ludo so over the next 3 months we'll be teaching you very nicely we'll be doing mocks we'll be solving assignments you will feel that yes you have mastered the game of ludo and now you know it all you will give the exam and you will pass the exam also okay and when you feel that yes now you know the subject the subject will change to cs1 okay now you have chess so there are 13 levels and each level deals with a different area okay so this course gives you a lot of technical knowledge so it is like you learn cm1 you play the game of ludo you master it and the next day the game is changed it is now cs1 it is about actual statistics so basically you need to enjoy this and you need to study okay and in life also this happens whenever you feel that yes you have mastered something or uh, you know a lot about something and the total the game changes so it's like that okay now you are worried about clearing your exams after 2 years you will be worried about getting a good job after further more 2 years you will be worried about increment you will be worried about a girlfriend you will be worried about your family 
it's like that okay so uh, at time five years uh, a payment of 800 is due we need to calculate present value at time zero given the force of interest is 0 0.09 please calculate we need to calculate the discount factor for five years we need to calculate the discount factor for five years we need to calculate v 0 to 5 this is e to the power minus 0 0.09 into 5 and then we need to multiply it by 800 what is the answer tell me it is 800 into v 0 to 5 what is the answer 510 is the correct answer 510.10 okay this is a question on discount factor now please read the note loudly in discrete we use summation in discrete we use summation what does this mean whenever the force of interest will be a constant amount we will treat it as discrete just after 10 minutes we'll be doing a case where the force of interest becomes a function of time t okay there we are going to use integration now we are doing summation now i'm giving you one sum example 3 example 3 write down example 3 so that you become clear on your concept example 3 this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 for the first year the force of interest is 5 percent next year it is 6 percent and then the third year it is 700 you uh, it is 7 percent i'm really sorry 5 percent 6 percent 7 percent you invest 1000 here okay you invest 1000 here and you need to calculate av at time 3 now how will you calculate just listen to me how will you calculate you are going to do e raised to the power 0 0.05 plus 0 0.06 plus 0 0.07 okay this is what i'm talking about in discrete you use summation okay so it is how you calculate the accumulation factor for three years please calculate and multiply by thousand and get the answer are you getting it now since we have a constant force of interest for three years or maybe five years that is why we are using 0.08 into 5 or 0.08 into 3 Please type in the chat box what answer we are getting. Yati Kabra, you are also from Kol uh, Kolkata, I, I, I know. Yati Kabra, yes or no? But you are not there in the class. I will not allow Kolkata students to do online class. I am being very rigid on this. I am being very rigid on this. I will not allow Kolkata students to attend classes from home. I am really sorry. You need to come for the classes. You need to get to the habit of these people, those who are from out of Kolkata, they don't have the facility to take classes from me at a physical location. But you have. So you need to come to the center. 1197.21 okay okay now now next next question example number four delta is given to be eight percent we need to calculate i it is very simple what is the formula one plus i is e to the power delta okay so e to the power 0 0.08 minus 1 is i. Please calculate for effort. Fast. Tell me the answer. Be fast.
पॉइंट जीरो एट थ्री टू एट ओके नाउ यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट आई फोर फ्रॉम आई हाउ विल बी डू दैट तो वन प्लस आई वन प्लस आई इज वन प्लस आई फोर बाय फोर होल्ड टू दावर फोर So it is 1.08328 to the power 1 by 4 minus 1 whole into 4. Okay. Next we need to calculate d12. So how will do that? 1 minus d12 by 12 whole to the power 12 is 1 by 1 plus i. We are accumulating discount factor is equal to 1 by accumulation factor. Please solve for D twelve. Your I four will be your I four will be eight point zero eight percent. Eight point zero eight percent. Your D twelve will be seven point nine seven percent. Okay. Is it okay? Okay. Now next please put the heading force of interest as a function of time. force of interest as a function of time force of interest as a function of time now now you will see delta has become a function of time t in reality also this happens all the time the interest rate is not constant na over a span of 5 years 10 years 15 years interest rate is not constant now we are making the force of interest as a function of time t as the time will change the rate of interest will also change okay so this is example number example number 5 so now delta t is 0.02 plus 0.01 t okay so now you cannot do the summation now we are in integration why because delta is not constant delta has become a function of time t okay so now for these kinds of rate of interest functions how will we solve is we'll use integration integration from the start point to the end point okay now for example just have a look don't copy a to b we need to integrate from a to b sorry we need to accumulate from a to b then we are going to integrate from a to b okay now e means what e power means what exponential whenever we write exponential it means e power exponential integration a to b delta t dt exponential integration a to b delta t dt this is the accumulation factor from a to b okay and and whenever we need to discount whenever we need to discount from b to a basically v a to b then it is exponential Minus integration a to b. Okay, 
delta t dt and why this minus this minus is for the one by thing one by e to the power five is what e to the power minus five right so now don't think that minus a to b is b to a no not like that it is just the minus is for the discount factor thing okay please copy this once and then we are going to proceed to the example You have copied the force of interest function also. Okay. We need to calculate. Now let's say suppose. First copy this. Now this is the timeline. We have invested 1000 at time 0. We need to calculate AV at time 8. how will we do that we'll calculate exponential integration 0 to 8 right 0 0.02 plus 0 0.01 t whole into dt okay it is exponential 0 0.02 t plus point 0 0.01 by 2 e square okay so it is 0 to 8 so it is exponential 0 0.02 into 8 plus point double zero five into 64 please solve and this is e to the power and this is accumulation factor 0 to 8 Okay, and we'll multiply this by 1000. We will multiply this by 1000. Okay, are you all getting it? So what is the final thing that is coming to E power? 0.48. So basically a 0 to 8 is e power 0 0.48, right? What is the final answer that we are getting? 1616, if I'm not wrong, 1616.07. Please complete this sum, I'll be right back.
Okay. Next, without wasting any more time, shall we move ahead? Yes or no? Yes or no? Shall we move ahead? Yes or no? Okay. Now, next example number six. Now the force of interest function is given as point zero eight zero. Point one three minus point zero one t. We need to calculate A V at t is equal to ten of five hundred invested at t is equal to two. So here we need to calculate. Listen to me first. We need to calculate a two to ten. So this is a two to five because the force of interest is changing at time five into a five to ten. But a two to five can be calculated directly now without integration. Okay. It is what e to the power point zero eight into three exponential integration five to ten delta t dt. Please solve for it. So this is basically the accumulation factor from two to ten, and then we need to multiply this by five hundred. Five hundred or one thousand. Five hundred. Please solve and get the answer. Exponential means e power only. Base same powers are added, and the final e power will be. What is it? Final is e to the power zero point. Five one five. So this is eight thirty six point eight two. Please check. Now the force of interest function will remain the same. Okay. Force of interest function is same. This is example number seven. Force of interest function as above. Okay. Now the question is, 
we need to calculate PV at T is equal to 3 of dollars 500 at T is equal to 10. We need to pull the money back. Okay. So we need to calculate A. Sorry. I'm really sorry. We need to calculate V 3 to 10. So this is V 3 to 5. V 5 to 10. So V 3 to 5 is what? E to the power minus 0 0.08 into 2 exponential minus integration 5 to 10. Okay. 0 0.13 minus 0 0.01 T whole into DT. We need to multiply this by 500 and then we'll get the final answer. Paste RT, your answer is wrong. 323 is the correct answer. The final e power thing that you are going to get is e power minus 0 0.435. Okay. So we'll multiply 500 into e power minus 0 0.435. The final answer that we're getting is 323.63. Next, please put the heading. Generalized expressions. Generalized expressions. So, now let's say suppose we need to calculate the accumulation factor from 0 to 2, 0 to 3, 0 to 10, 0 to 20. So, we are going to again and again and again integrate. So, now we are going to calculate a generalized expression in form of t so that we integrate only once and then we just put the values for t. Okay, it is very helpful in reducing the calculations. One we are going to do for accumulation factor and one we are going to do for discounting factor. Okay. So, let's start. So the force of interest function again remains the same. Okay. Force of interest function is again the same. We need to calculate, write down the question, we need to calculate generalized expressions for AF, for AF. Basically accumulation factor. Now where is the break point? Where is the break point? 5. So first we need to calculate for 0 when t lies between 0 and 5. So it will be a 0 to t. 
Now this is what e to the power 0 0.08 t. Very simple. Now let's say suppose we have got the answer. Now we need, for example, don't copy this part. We need a 0 to 4. What will be the answer? What will be the answer? It is e to the power 0 0.08 into 4. But we can only put t till 5 in this expression. Okay, we can only put t till 5 in this expression. And for when t is greater than or equal to 5, we'll do again once more. Please copy this one. Now when t is greater than 5, then for that we'll calculate again a 0 to t. So this is a 0 to 5 into a 5 to t. So for a 0 to 5, what we are going to do is we are just going to put 5 in the above expression. Teach what you preach. If you are telling don't integrate again and again, at least put the value. Na? Exponential integration. Now please wait, please wait, please wait. Now it's a tricky part. Now exponential integration 5 to t. Since t is there in the limits, we are going to put delta s, ds, okay, delta s, ds. We are just changing the basically uh, variable, okay, because t is also there in the limits. So now it will be e to the power 0 0.4 exponential integration 5 to t. 0 0.13 minus 0 0.01 s whole into ds. Please solve, put the value and get the answer. So it is e to the power 0 0.4 exponential 0 0.13 t minus 5 minus 0 0.005 t square minus 25. Please uh, just simplify the expression. Just simplify the expression and get the final expression. Just simplify the expression once. What are you getting? e to the power 0 0.13t minus 0 0.005t square minus 0 0.125. Yes. So now this expression is only valid for t greater than or equal to 5. Now since 5 is the meeting point, whether you five, whether you put five in the above expression or in this expression, the answer will be same. It will be e to the power 0 0.4. Okay, and now how we'll present our answer? That is also very important. B, sorry, sorry. A 0 to t. So it is e to the power 0 0.08 t for t lies between 0 and 5. And it is e to the power 0 0.13 t less 0 0.005 t square less 0 0.125 for t greater than or equal. So you need to present your final answer in this format. And now if they ask you in the further questions, calculate a 0 to 10. What are you going to do? You are just simply going to put 10 in the second expression. a 0 to 5 in any of the expression a0 to 4 in the first expression. So basically this is the use of generalized expressions. You just need to integrate it once and then you can just go on putting the values. Even if, even if they ask you to calculate, even if they ask you to calculate a for example 2 to 7, you can solve this. It is a0 to 2 into a 
टू टू सेवन इज इक्वल टू ए जीरो टू सेवन सो पुट टू इन द फर्स्ट पुट सेवन इन द सेकेंड डिवाइड द बोथ यू गेट द आंसर ऑफ टू टू सेवन ए टू टू सेवन इज वॉट ए जीरो टू सेवन डिवाइड बाई ए जीरो टू टू ओके प्लीज कॉपी दिस पार्ट इन द नोट All of you have completed all the questions. Please tell me yes or no. Any part which you want to view again, I can just scroll up. Our force of interest topic is complete. Tomorrow also we are having class. Tomorrow we are having class at three thirty p.m. Tomorrow we will do sums. is it clear everyone any part which you want to view again i should explain again please tell it to me now any part which you want any explanation or you need to see the solution please tell me now i'll not waste any time in this batch okay i'll just go on straight forward teaching on the concepts and solving the sums that's it it's a no time waste batch i have named this batch as no time waste batch okay so thank you all of you see you all tomorrow 3:30 pm okay please keep practicing excel also dev somani june end thank you all of you